Hi, everybody. I'm so excited to welcome you to the very first Mama Minutes here at the Centered Mama Project. I'm so excited for what I'm bringing to you and for what I'll be able to share. And I wanted to just jump right in and get started and introduce you to my very first guest, who is a friend and a mentor to me. This is Gemma, who is a business mentor, digital strategist, and mama to Jack, two stepdaughters, Indian Scarlet, and two very hairy and often stinky Cocker Spaniels, Harley and Maureen. <laughs> He's also, as I mentioned, my business mentor and someone who is very dear to my heart. So welcome, Gemma. Thank you so much for being here today. Uh, thank you so much. And I am delighted to be the first. Hurrah. What a privilege. Hurrah. Okay. So let's dive right in. Yeah. Can you sum up in one word your current experience of mothering? Oh, mental. Just <laughs> mental. Constantly, it's like um, because I well, you know, I'll ex I'll explain this to to your lovely ladies. My office, I work from home, and my office is in my house. And I kind of I feel like I come in here to this office and I sit at this desk, and it's all serene and lovely. And then the minute I go out there and I close that door, it's just craziness. <laughs> so it's just for me, as I'm sure for everybody, it's just constant juggling and reacting and it's crazy <laughs> yeah, and you have the fur babies and the little jack and bigger yeah. girls and it's the joys of the blended family which add its own toddlers and teenagers <laughs> i don't know what's worse who had that idea i know <laughs> who put them together <laughs> so what's the most valuable thing that anyone has ever done for you since you started your journey as a mama Oh, do you know what? Mine, um, and this is quite emotional for me, mine has been quite a tough journey um, because I started out as a single mother before I blended this massive family. Um, and so I was, when I was pregnant with Jack, I was a, a single mother. I, cho I chose to be a single mother. His dad wasn't going to be around. And I had it all figured out. And then at seven months pregnant, I lost my job. Mm. And I had no other financial income, I had no savings, I had nothing. Um, and I was absolutely stuck. And I was like, holy crap, I, I literally can't afford rent. Like, there's going to be a period of time, I was kind of thinking, like, probably about four or five months, where I have no income coming in, where I literally don't think I'll be able to work. And I, I thought about the benefits option, and I just thought, oh, God, I'm... I'm not sure I can even do that. I'm not sure it's going to be quick enough for me because I was like seven months pregnant. And, uh, and I had an amazing friend, a, a friend who was a single mother. Her daughter at that point, gosh, Laura, I think was eight. And she had, has a big old house with lots of space in it. Um, and I was telling her about my story. Um, and she said, well, you're just going to come and live with me in my spare room. Mm. And so that's what happened. And it was just the most amazing thing to have that kindred spirit, a mother. She was a friend already, but someone that was like, I totally get single motherhood and what's about to happen to you. And I've got you. And so she just, she, she did so much for me. And we, we lived in her room until Jack was nine months. I started this business from that room. Yeah. like and and that's where we were and and she was amazing and you know she she was there at his birth she is his godmother mm. and she you know she would bring me when I was breastfeeding and sitting in bed um, I had a c-section so I, I couldn't move very much so she would bring me amazing wholesome healthy dinners in bed so that I was eating mm. at least one good meal a day and just took care of me and that's just the most amazing thing like I, I, it, I can never ever repay the gratitude that I have for that mm. oh I have so many goosebumps just listening to your story yeah. oh how amazing yeah. what a beautiful act of selfless love right yeah really yeah really can you tell me about a time that you wish you had spoken up and asked for support mm. yeah it was um it was when we, so we moved out into little two up, two down um, house that was um, fairly close to my mum, and, and I chose that so that I had some help with Jack. Um, and I was on my own in this new town. 
And I started going to um, mum and baby groups because I thought, right, I'm going to meet some mums and people in the same predicament as me and I'll make some friends. And sadly, that didn't happen. I, I think, you know, I, I was trying to break into a crowd that are already, they were already friends and there were lots of cliques. And I was the only single mum and I don't know what that meant to them, but they, they weren't comfortable with that. Mm. And so I felt really, really alone. Mm -hmm. And I didn't reach out and I had nowhere to reach out to. And I remember it was just me and Jack and this business. And I would, uh, whenever he was sleeping, I was running this. And then the rest of the time I was being mum. And I was going slowly insane because I had nobody else. And, you know, my mum came and helped when she could. But it's, your mum's not the same as a friend or yeah. someone in the same predicament as you or as another mum, right? And so I was just so freaking lonely, like so lonely. And I think I could have reached out, but I was being, I've got this, I'm gonna be fine, we can do it on our own. And I didn't, and, and you know, I had a good year of that, and it's a lonely place to be, and I wouldn't want any other mother to go through that. And I wish, I wish I'd reached out, or even just to my friends on Facebook and just gone, I'm really lonely, I need, I need some people to talk to me at least. Um, but I didn't do that. And I really wish that I'd reached out because I, I so needed that. I just needed that. Yeah. 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 I think that's a very common experience, isn't it? For mm. particularly new mums or mums yeah. who have moved somewhere that you find yourself, as you said, trying to break into social systems that are established. And yeah. it's not always easy depending on the culture that you're coming from and the one you're coming into. And even you didn't even leave the country. You just went from one place to another. <clears throat> yeah. And it's, it, yeah, it can be challenging. Yeah. Yeah. So it was. If you could go back and tell new mama Gemma one thing, what would it be? Um, ignore all of the advice that you're getting from everybody and all the different types of advice and go with your gut. Because I remember just because I was a brand new mum and I'd never done that before. I was reading everything and getting so much conflicting advice. And then the midwife was giving me different advice and the doctor was giving me different advice. And then I was reading mum's net and net, net's mum never read that. Um, and just it, it was just overwhelming. And actually what I learned sort of probably a good year or two on was I've got this, I, I know what to do. I can kind of work it out for myself. And it was just to kind of ignore all of that and stop comparing myself and just listen to my instinct. Because I think us as mums, we've just got this inbuilt instinct that tells us what to do. And I think we need to trust ourselves more and go with our gut. Mm, that is so, so deeply true. Trusting yourself mm. as a mum. I've I mean, I did that too, reading the 10 squillion books and yeah. watching the experts and following blogs and you drive yourself mad, don't you? And you lose yeah. track of what you think and what you feel and what you know to be true for your baby. That's a really good yeah. one. Yeah. So last question, what is the funniest thing that has happened in your life this week? Because we all <laughs> sometimes forget about the lighter side. So tell us. Yeah. Yeah, I went to see Jack's first nativity yesterday. Oh, yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> Just amazing. Yes. It, it was amazing. It was amazing. But the funniest thing for me was he was basically a little meerkat. He was, he was the angel amongst loads of angels. And he just desperately needed to see me. So, so watching them, and there's like this little sea of angels, and all of a sudden, Jack's head would pop up <laughs> <laughs> throughout the whole performance. And he'd just like look up and go, so that he could see where I was, <laughs> wave, and then go, and then he like down. Throughout the whole performance, it was oh, hilarious. This the way yeah, oh. it was awesome. The little touch points with Mama, just making sure that you're there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. bless. Yeah, it was so oh. good. I loved it. Did you re record the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. Loads of videos, loads of photos. So I'm going to go through those today with him. Oh, so fun. What a fun thing to do as you ramp up towards Christmas. I want to yeah. thank you so much, Gemma, for your time today, for being our first Mama Minutes guest. Hurrah! Aww. And I look forward to seeing and watching you evolve even more as a mama as time goes on. So thank you. Thank you. Have a gorgeous rest of your day. Uh, thank you, my darling. Thank you for having me on. Thank you. Bye.